I'm just kind of really behind on my review of Assassination Classroom. I haven't even done like a review on an anime in a while. But Assassination Classroom is such an underrated anime. I'm surprised how good it actually was. Because the show is about this. Um, I wouldn't, he's not an alien, but like, he, he's not a human. He doesn't look like a human. He's super fast, super strong. He blew up the moon, and he's, and uh, no one can stop him. And he says, by the time next March, he's going to blow up the whole earth. But he will teach this classroom, and these kids will have the chance to kill him before March, when they graduate. So it's kind of a weird, like, setting to a, a show. You have kids that are, uh, like, the worst class in the school, 3E, which is, like, there's, like, class A, class B and stuff. And uh, they're at, like, the bottom. They're, like, kind of, like, the bad kids that don't really do their work or anything. And they get the chance to kill this guy. And if they do, they get paid, like, a million dollars or something like that so it's kind of a weird uh, setting but it's surprisingly good surprisingly good and before we get too deep into that talk about the the dub cast of this it is so good there's like not a single person I don't like their voice actor for dub and like Oh, uh, like every character is so good like even like the not as like important characters I still like their voice actor so much especially Isagai Isagai I like a lot Karma Karma is my favorite but now that we're moving on to characters not every character like gets screen time <laughs> there's like the more important, like, cooler people, or the kids, um, you get to see him a lot. But, like, there's a character named Tarasica. You see him a lot, but he has this, like, group of his friends. You never see any of his friends. You rarely ever hear them talk or see them. They do nothing in the show. And also, they introduce, uh, this computer girl, like, computer student, they, the government brought in to try and kill the guy. But there's an episode where she just constantly trying to kill him, and after that, she never tries again. She just helps everyone else, which I thought was kind of weird. She, like, never shoots at him anymore. It was okay. And since they're kids, they still have to learn, like, all the stuff for school, and... Um, Kuro Sensei, which is, I should have said that a while ago, but he's the, like the, the alien guy that blew up the moon. And he's a really good teacher. So he teaches them, gets all their grades up, and then they, they start getting better grades than like the other classes, which they always like bully them. They always bully class 3E. So he's helping them, and when they play sports, he helps them learn the sport to try and beat them. But the principal, he's trying to make, like, the class A and stuff, he's trying to keep them, like, above class 3E, because then they might make his school look bad. That 3E, the worst class, is showing up the people that he's personally teaching. So it's kind of like Kuro Sensei with class 3E versus the principal and those kids, and one of those kids is his own son. They they kind of go at it, like, with tests and games. And with the test, I love that they have, like, this, like, whenever they get to each problem, it's like they're trying to assassinate something. Like, they, like, make it, like, a metaphor. Like, they, uh, they go up against this monster and they have to figure out how to assassinate it and that's them figuring out the problem. That was pretty cool. I thought. I liked the the twist in the shows. I liked the 
the endings to both seasons. Uh, season two was it? I think it was better. I think it was a little bit better. Season one still really good. The final finale of season two was actually pretty sad. I was surprised. It actually had me tearing up. I didn't expect that, but it did. And there's like a couple moments like, whoa, like there's this teacher who's, um, well he's a, like a military guy, and he's a really big jerk, like he's bullying these kids, like he's beating them up, hitting them and stuff, it's like, whoa, it's kind of crazy. But this anime, definitely give it a try. It is so good kind of underrated like people don't talk about it that much but it's really really good then we go over here to assassination classroom I gave both seasons a 9 people thought it was an average score of an 8 I thought it was great they thought it was very good what did they think the second season was 8.5 so yeah people thought the second season was better also I still gave it the same score, but like, it, it was like a, a higher 9 for the second season than the first season. And I was talking about this earlier, about the dub cast. I love this website behind the voice actors. It like, it gives you who they look like, or like the, the dub voice actor, all the roles they've been in. I love this website so much. But dude, these voice actors are so good. Koro Sensei's was good. Uh, Nagisa, he, it was kind of weird at first because it's kind of like a, a girly voice, but it makes sense because he's a, he's a guy. Uh, Kurosama, that's good. Irina, that's I think hers. Yeah, hers was good. Karma's was good. Kaede, good. Sugino, Sugino was really good. Um, the rest of these pretty good. Isagai. He's a guy I loved his so much. Uh, Hinano, Hinano's was pretty good. Oh, uh, well, yeah, the people I was talking about, Tarasica's group, this is Tarasica, and then this is like the two people in his group. <laughs> they do nothing in the show, but they still all, all have good voice actors. I forgot about Itana. Itana is a really good character. 